Trisha Paytas was framed as a mentally ill victim on the Frenemies podcast, which renewed her reputation with a new audience from the H3H3 podcast. Okay, Tarka. And there's a... What's this one's name? Rain. Rain, is this your favorite, right? Rain's gotta go. Yeah. She claims to have several mental illnesses and uses them to justify her poor behavior. How are you not diagnosed? To her audience, unfamiliar with mental health. Mm-hmm. Trisha Paytas is just a bad person like Onision, Rice Gum, and Social Repos. Dang. Fill the room with the juice, so that's a lot of loot. Uh, that bit fire, uh, yeah, she kinda cute. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, hello, my name is Pearl. In today's video, we are going to be watching part three of Trisha Paytas is Irredeemable, which this is going to be about the stigmatization of mental illness, which I have already said I wanted to make a separate video on that alone, just because it is something that I have seen happen not only in my own life, but obviously in other people's lives. So definitely excited for this part. I wanna be completely clear again, if you are new and you have no idea who I am, I do have bipolar one, I do have PTSD, anxiety and insomnia. So when it comes to mental illness, mental health, that is something we talk about here very openly without any issues whatsoever. So just please know that you are in a safe space. Now let's hop in here because Again, this is something I have dealt with myself, even through therapy. I remember I had a therapist that actually really brought this to my attention to where I had to really look at my emotions and, and how I was using it. Because what people don't realize is when you have any disorder, right? Like, let's not be dumb here. Regardless, let's say you have cancer. Let's say you only have, let's just say you have one leg. Maybe you're healthy, but you just only have one leg, whatever. You can use all of these sort of, of disorders or disruptancies or negativities as a benefit in your life whether that's manipulation getting money having to go oh my goodness my camera died my bad anyways like i was saying people can use these things to their advantage and i have noticed it so many times in my life i have seen what mental illness does to you when it's not managed years and years and years to come it's very scary even today even right now as we speak i am doing the 75 hard challenge i feel amazing i don't necessarily feel like i should be taking my medication but i'm still taking it because i know that there's gonna be a day where i'm just like me 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 and i'm just gonna have this thought of like why are you still alive you should die today and then I, the whole day is just you know done it's over it's a wrap you know what i mean and so like these things right you have to go through them to understand it. So if you're telling me that Trisha is as traumatized as she is, and she's gone to this many therapists, and she's been diagnosed with this and that and that and this, she's fully aware of what I'm saying right now. She's fully, fully aware. So let's hop in this. I I am dying to watch this, this, this part. So let's get in it. Trisha Paytas was framed as a mentally ill victim on the Frenemies podcast, which renewed her reputation with a new audience from the H3H3 H3 podcast. They were, in general, unaware of the details behind Trisha Paytas' career on YouTube Valid. and accepted her by proxy of H3H3's H3 podcast. Valid. She was introduced as having borderline personality disorder, which was self-diagnosed which explained away her claim to disassociative identity disorder, which was also self-diagnosed, and her claim to being a trans man in a drag queen's body while in the same breath saying she has no gender dysphoria and is perfectly okay with her female body to those unfamiliar to the symptoms of borderline personality disorder. And let me reiterate, borderline personality disorder is not inherently abusive or toxic. Mm -hmm. Princess Diana and Marilyn Monroe were driven to help people because of their inner pain and good heart. Mm -hmm. And still... I am meeting patients like her, rejected by family and past friends. It is hard to find words to express the aching loneliness and rejection I have found them experiencing as they approach the end of their lives. And you're the saddest girl I ever met. This man never said that. I'm usually told how happy I am. That's because you make a man feel happy. Personality disorder doesn't make you do anything. 
other than suffer from self-image issues and self-love issues. Mm -hmm. Trisha Paytas is just a bad person like Onision, Rice Gum, and Social Repos. Dang. The reason her claim to disassociative identity disorder and borderline personality disorder is an issue is she claims to have several mental illnesses and uses them to justify her poor behavior. How are you not diagnosed? To her audience unfamiliar with mental health. Instead of taking accountability for her actions, as she claims, she uses mental illnesses as an excuse for her racist, abusive, and damaging behavior. So wow. much, yeah. I mean, because I so had my blackout moments where I woke up and I was like, I didn't want to do yeah, that. No, like, I, I don't know. I get it. I get it. So, and, it and so that's, that's... I don't want to do that. I don't want to hurt anyone, even in my relationship. Now, I, I, I am trying to, like, sabotage it to not make it last because I don't want to be harmful to anybody. And I am. I'm dangerous to myself. I'm dangerous to other people. And it's... It's bad, okay, you know. So stop. It's... And so, and so, Ethan, can you see how when you say something like "this is a weaponized, you're attacking me," that's that's tough territory for her right now. Uh -huh. You got it? Yeah. No, I. You understand? I, okay. Yeah. So, for so, sure. so here's the. I I I hit it last summer, and it doesn't matter the circumstances. Like I hit him, and that gets thrown in my face all the time, and I it's fine, but I'm not. I'm not. A domestic abuser that he broke up with you because you started then what are you punching him. he's shaking his head no girl you gotta okay. work on it you gotta work on it you, you said i could say everything i did not punch him you gotta work you on said it that's why you broke up with me because i punched you okay like here's my thing when you have when you grow up in a household where your parents are physically fighting when you grow up in that household you don't even realize that it is it comes with you in adulthood you have to actually recognize it go to therapy figure that out and and, and also explain that to people you know what i mean like there are relationships where i have talked about this and there are relationships where i have not talked about it and the ones where i have not talked about it those are the ones have become more violent. You know what I mean? And that's because I was obviously undiagnosed at the time, had no idea what was going on, but I'm in a very different place now. So it's like, when I look back at it, it's like, whoa, there is so much that I was doing that was so negative, like so bad. But this is me in the mindset of, you know, in my late twenties, Trisha has been doing this for years and no one tells her anything. Like, like this. that's okay. a little scary. Okay. That's terrifying. I actually. Fitness. Oh, sorry. Someone did say that I said I'd never abuse it to you. She gave Jason PTSD, which Moses might end up developing too, impairing him from developing a relationship with someone else for a while. She aggravated Ethan's depression. She needs to get away from Moses because he going to play her like a fiddle. Let me tell you right now. He going to play her just like this. Real good. I'm editing the video, but there's been recent revelations that I found out that Moses might actually have autism, according to what Trisha has revealed. Really? It's like his spectrum of cars. Oh, okay. Well, you're on a spectrum. And then, <laughs> and then, um, and I say that with love, with so much love. I love that you're autistic. I love Girl, that. bye. Um, <laughs> Wasn't she talking crap and about then, autistics, like, earlier in the video? Comments regarding his social awkwardness, regarding different facets of his personality. How do you not know this is a catfish? Can we talk about water while we have sex? This guy also thinks he's water. I, I have deleted the videos, but there's literally a video where he thinks he won't die, where he thinks he's he's water. He truly feels that he's born water. He's work. I'm not. I'm not saying this to be mean. Like he is a very social awkward person. He might have something like Asperger's or something like that. So like it's it's like it's very cringe. But cringe. Holy shit. Not only that, but there's also speculation that why would you use that terminology? His four kittens because he was paying too much attention to his kitty cats than to her. No. My cats. Dude, stop. Want his cats because he's Calm like, down, they, they ruin his shit. Like, the fact that you guys are too Most happy Most doesn't want his cats. Dang, imagine not being able to have a pet. What's this one's name? Rain. Rain is just your favorite, right? Rain's gotta go. Girl. That's all you post on your Instagram. Story. That's the only text messages I get from your kittens of your video, video of your kittens. Moses. So he'll keep them at the museum. Okay, so y'all saw like this really cute video that Moses posted about how he saved the kitten from being all tangled up. Everyone liked it. No one brought up anything bad. Someone pointed out that um, Trisha made him get rid of his three cats. Um, 
and that he was allergic to cats and that he never had them but i would like to say otherwise and not only that but moses has actually commented that he wouldn't find it too surprising if she actually killed his cats she's inflicted psychological harm onto others which not killing animals characterize herself as the victim she aggravates others mental illnesses without consideration because she believes her feelings are the only, only ones, ones that matter right she and projects malice onto other creators with mental illnesses hurting their feelings because she doesn't respect anyone's mental illness furthermore it's quite evident that trisha paytas is obsessed with herself believing every man who wants to have sex with her every person who critiques her is a bigot and even when a black unarmed man is murdered she and her feelings about it a white blonde haired right white woman for some reason that matters appropriate and ethnic look without the violence Girl. that comes with it is still the center focus of a black lives matter video and let me make this very clear she plays dumb but she's not dumb she's <laughs> academically illiterate and possesses hardly any intelligence regarding basic geography culture history or science but she possesses a high level of intelligence and social manipulation mm -hmm. no good person exposes their mental breakdowns for millions of views and cash no good person exposes That's what I'm private saying. fights with unwilling participants for millions of views and cash. No good person objectifies and fetishizes people on the basis of their race for millions of views and cash. And finally, no good person flaunts how much money they have when there's a pandemic and rising income inequality, housing prices, stealing away her audience's economic stability. True. Oh, true. It's literally like but it's trash it's and that's what i never okay people that's one thing that i always like so trisha will talk about her mental illness right her mental health or like but it's a breakdown how did i not realize that every time it's a breakdown it's never you never get to see like when she's like happy or manic or you know like um you know I've been on I've been on my meds for this long and this is who I am now or you know like she's never like doing this like other positive side of mental health. I don't know how I never really noticed that. Like that's just now coming to me where I'm like, you know what? Yeah. She actually really never does that. And that's so weird to me because why? Like even, even, for example, anytime like I break down or I'm super emotional or super sad or whatever, it's like a week. It's like days before I even think about like, okay, I, I literally like I'm hiding from everybody. Like maybe I should upload something. Maybe I should post something. Maybe I should be like more transparent about what's really going on. You know what I mean? But like Trish is very calculated with it. I don't know how I never noticed that. She's super calculated. Well, she has mental illnesses is neither here nor there. Frankly, a majority of people are- But then again, like, including- It doesn't even matter. She's not even diagnosed. This is where we need to go back. This is where we need to go. She's not even diagnosed. Being self-diagnosed, no, I'm not hearing that. Miss me with all of that because I was self-diagnosed for forever. And then what? I thought I had depression. Then they, um, what did they diagnose me with? They diagnosed me with severe depression, which that was not what I actually had. And that's why the medication didn't work. And that's why I ended up getting off the of medication. Then I had to do a whole another couple years of being undiagnosed diagnosed not knowing what was going on like sis miss me with all of that like you don't care and if you did care then you would be diagnosed you would know what year you were diagnosed you would know what medication you're on when you need to take it why you need to take it and how your symptoms are because even when i'm off of medication let's say i'm off of my medication for five days there are certain things that are happening in my brain that i can tell like oh i need to take my medication because it, 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 i don't know how to explain it if you have the disorder you understand but I, I'm not going to explain it to those that live a normal, you know, mentally stable life. Like, I'm, it, it's, it's hard to explain. But, yeah, it's Rocker. just... If they manage their that's crazy. Yeah. Trisha markets off it. It's and I said that. Did I not say that? And she I said it in the last video. Again, as just a reminder, she tried seducing Ethan Klein away from his wife just because Ethan didn't like Trisha. She knowingly abandoned very young girls to a party with alcohol where they later got raped and the video filming it was released as daily content. She physically hmm. abused Jason and Moses to a point where Jason legitimately feared for his life and developed PTSD. She is the Onision of Valley Girls. Hmm. Good way to end it, baby. Wow. Wow. And, and, and 
I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm so glad they brought that up. I'm so glad they brought that up at the end. Because so look, after at the end of the addressing everything Trisha Paytas video, I said I would love to see Trisha just give us a good five years. No man eating healthy, exercising, medicated. Give us just five years of that. And let's just see what Trisha produces. Let's just see who that person would be. Yikes. I'll say it again, like I said it, like I said it in my last video. Is this the end of Trisha Paytas? Is this the end of Trisha Paytas? Is she, dare I say, going to endure the sort of uh, judgment as Shane Dawson? Is it gonna be on that level? I guess we will wait and see. I guess we'll wait and see. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Let me know what y'all think about all of this. <sighs> because I, I had to literally go get a hoodie. I had to go put my, my hoodie on and just feel a little bit more comfortable because sis. And that's another thing, why? Why am I looking for a reason? to forgive you? Why am I looking for a reason to, to think, nah, maybe she's really not that way? Why am I looking for that reason? Hmm. Maybe she's manipulated me subconsciously. Maybe she's subconsciously manipulated all of us to where we're, we just literally forgive her time and time and again. Obviously, I'm not saying everybody, but again, collectively collectively, meaning is she still able to survive? Is she still able to sell merch? Is she still able to make money? She is. Hmm. Love you guys so much. Let me know what y'all think about this video. I will see y'all in my next one. <sighs> yeah. And please let me know what you think, especially if you are diagnosed because this is getting ridiculous. Put it out the coop in the lot, 12 for squat, out the bells out the box. Hit the leaf with the top.